take a look at his lap. 180 miles an hour down into turn one. He downshifts once, very little braking. Then he has to get it slowed down to about 100 miles an hour for the apex of two. A short straight for the S, the snake at the back of the pit. No braking required. It's all throttle application and just sweeping through a nice line. To the bottom of the hill for the Dunlop curve. It just keeps turning left. Apex early, take it to the outside. Apex very, very late to be on the left again for Degner. Watch this. 120 just keeps it within the confines of the track. He's tight again in Degner too, but he's away. Ringing the car out, flat right into the hairpin, breaking a straight line, all the grips on the inside, and there he goes. He's hooked up with that. Straighten the car as soon as you can for best traction. Cresting over a couple of small hills, a long right-hander feeding you in at 180 miles an hour to the famous spoon corner. You break extremely late, bring it down to 115, apex early, move towards the outside, a second apex, and you have to get good acceleration speed here. There's a long back straight ahead of you, climbing the hill gently up to 200 miles an hour towards the famous 130 arc corner, which is newly resurfaced this year. Not a hint of lift of the throttle, just scrubbing of the speed as the car pulls 5G through there. He's already into the final triangle chicane. He can take all the curb he wants, tickling the throttle until he can nail it as the car picks up grip and launches him into the pit straight.